Greetings and thank you for joining me for today's Innovations in Facial Plastic Surgery Update. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Today we will briefly talk about skin cancers. There are three main types of skin cancers. Basal cell cancers, squamous cell cancers, and melanomas. Basal cell cancers are the most common type of skin cancer. They tend to be only locally destructive though, meaning that they tend to only grow in a certain area and not spread to other parts of the body. Squamous cell cancers can be locally destructive as well as traveling to the lymph nodes, bones, lungs, liver, and brain and on occasion. Melanomas though are probably the most lethal form of skin cancer. Melanomas are responsible for several thousand deaths every year and they can affect any part of the skin and their digestive tract. If you suspect that a lesion may be a skin cancer, a visit to your physician or dermatologist would be in order. A biopsy is the only way to definitively tell whether or not a lesion is a skin cancer. In the case of melanomas, there is a mnemonic that can be used to look for worrisome lesions, the A, B, C, Ds. A being asymmetry, the lesion doesn't look the same on both sides. B being irregular borders, C, irregular color, and D, either a growing lesion or a diameter greater than six millimeters. Lesions that fit any of these criteria are at a higher risk of being something to be concerned with and should be evaluated by a physician. Treatment for skin cancer varies, but generally it does involve some type of surgery. For certain types of basal cell cancers, freezing therapies or topical medications can be used to help cure the cancer. In more advanced forms of cancer, in squamous cell, certain types of basal cells, and melanomas, surgery is indicated. Special types of surgery can be used to preserve as much normal tissue as possible, referred to as Mohs surgery. For more information about this and other innovations in facial plastic surgery, visit me on the web at www.innovationsfps.com. I'm Dr. B.J. Verrett. Have a great day.